It can happen. Uh, it can happen. It can happen to you. God is no respecter of persons. What he has done for April, he is more than able to do for you as well. You know, there's something in all of us, I think, when we watch someone else get healed that just doesn't quite believe it can happen for us. Today, believe for yourself. Believe that God wants to and will touch you right at your point of need, whatever that might be. To further encourage your faith, we want to share some other answers to prayer. This is Melissa. I love this. She was watching the 700 Club the morning of October 10th, just days ago. She said, I've seen the show only a couple of times before. The portion of the show where you call out ailments and say God is healing you struck me by surprise. The guy said, I believe that's you, Rosie. <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy. You're the guy. That I'm, guy on TV. I've been saying that for a long time. I've been praying for your right rotator cuff, and in my mind, I said, no, the left. And then he said, not the right, the left. My left rotator cuff was messed up, and now it's feeling fine. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Thank you for praying for me and everyone else. That's wonderful. <laughs> Here's one. Uh, Daryl by email. Terry and Gordon had a word of knowledge about suffering, someone suffering from chronic pain, specifically in the knee. I, I've had an undiagnosed pain in my right knee and leg. It's been healed. I saw my doctor about it today, and he concurred it was an answer to prayer. Two days ago, I couldn't walk. Today, I'm going for the first walk I've been able to take in a very long time. There just ain't nothing like Jesus. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> he always responds to faith. The eyes of the Lord go to and fro over the whole world to show himself strong to those whose hearts are loyal to him. How do you show your loyalty? Well, it's always through faith. When a paralyzed man was brought to Jesus, his friends were frustrated. They couldn't break through the crowd because they had to carry him. They couldn't get to, to the, they had heard about the miracles. They had seen people who'd been healed. They, they knew Jesus is the Messiah. If we can just get to him, we'll get our healing for our friend. So what did they do? Well, they climbed up on the roof and then they tore a hole through the roof and let their friend down right in front of Jesus. The Bible says something wonderful. When Jesus saw their faith, isn't that amazing? Faith is visible. God can see it. All you need is that little mustard seed, seed that says, hey, how about me? Can, can I have it? Can, can you heal my friend? Can you heal me? And when you do that, he responds. His eyes are going all over the world looking for this. And when he finds it, he shows himself strong. Let that happen to you today. I know it's a strange way to look at it. Let that happen. But let it happen. The promise is for you. Healing is for you. He forgives all your iniquities. He heals all your diseases. What part of all don't you understand? He wants to do it. He died for it. By his stripes, we were healed. It's already been, been accomplished. So let's do it. Let's show our little hand and say, Hi, hey, I'm here. I believe. In an act of faith, lay that hand on that area of the body that needs healing. Terry and I will agree with you. That's important. When two or more agree touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. If there are people around you right now, if they're with you, could you ask them, please come lay hands on me. Let's believe. Let's show our faith by our acts. And then God will show himself strong for you. Let's pray. Lord, as people are laying hands on that area of the body that needs healing, we join together with them. And we, and we just proclaim in thanksgiving your healing. We look to you, the author, the finisher of our faith. We look to you on the cross. We see your wounds. And we declare over ourselves out loud, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I am delivered. Pain, disease, infirmity, leave my body right now in the name of Jesus and return no more. I am healed now 
in Jesus' name. Uh, there's a woman, your name is Clarice, and, and you are suffering. It, it's this cloud of depression. It just seems to be uh, dominating your thoughts, dominating your actions. Um, you're, you're, you live in worry and, and fear and, and just a sense of woe. God is lifting that for you. He's giving you new life and abundant life for new clarity of thought, soundness of mind, new righteousness, new peace, and especially joy. Just lift your hands to him. Ask for that baptism of joy right now. In Jesus' name, be healed. There's someone you have a severe muscle strain that is um, your right shoulder, uh, the muscle on the upper right arm on the back, and then it goes all the way down your back. Uh, uh, it's just a, a tremendous pain. God is healing that entire joint, all of those muscles, ligaments, everything involved with that shoulder. In Jesus' name, be healed and be set free. You just felt it lift off. You just felt the bones literally just uh, realign themselves. You are being healed. It's a tr tremendous miracle for you right now. In Jesus' name. As someone else, you've had arthroscopic surgery on your knee and it has not healed properly. It's so discouraging for you because you're, you're, you're not healed. God's healing it for you today. Just put your hand on your knee and feel that warmth begin to just come over that area that's been bothering you so much. The clicking gone, the swelling inside gone, all is restored to normal in Jesus' name. And someone else, you have uh, retina issues with your eyes. They keep you keep getting little tears that, that produce blood in your eye. God's healing that for you. It's not going to happen to you again. It's gone now in his name. Uh, there's someone you, you've got tremendous fear because you just had a colonoscopy and, and literally it's in just the past few days and you, 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 they found a tumor. Mm. God is able and, and he wants you to just trust in him uh, and be with him. He wants you to remain under the care of doctors so that the miracle can be documented. But he is healing you in Jesus' name. Amen.